purr. And that's all I'm going to say. It's just purr. Hey curl friends, it's The Sincerely Asia and I'm back at it again with another video. First of all, let me go ahead and apologize for my voice. I am a little under the weather. So today being the first month, <laughs> first month, yes, because every month is Black History Month. Today being the first day of Black History Month, I wanted to go ahead and start a series on my channel for this month and I'm sure I'll be continuing it in another series that will be after this one and it's going to be me highlighting some black owned businesses that I have purchased that I have spent my own money on and really enjoy and for the entire month of December I made it my mission every time I bought a gift from a regular retail place such as like a, a Walmart or a Target or even like a Marshalls or Home Goods. I made sure that the following gift was from a black owned business. It was very important to me. It did cause me to spend some money now but the reward was so much worth it because I felt like I was supporting my people. So this is just going to be a miscellaneous just shout out to a bunch of black owned brands i'm going to do like five maybe more and then i'm just going to keep pushing them out to y'all in the coming week so i'm going to start with something so random <laughs> i got these wine stoppers these are just very on trend right now i really wanted some and when i was scrolling through instagram i just saw that one of my fellow FAMU alumni Mickey makes them and I was like oh these are just an essential that I need in my house because I want to um, style a wine cart in the very near future and I was like these would be perfect like a perfect aesthetic to go on top I believe these retail for about $20 a piece I thought they were so cute she has so many different colors grays and she did red and green for Christmas she just has so many different ones so much to choose from and this is not the only thing she makes she's a very creative girl y'all very creative she's always been making things since I've ever known her when I was at fam so shout out to my Rattlers black owned business little miscellaneous so we're gonna hop right into things that I'm using every single day <laughs> so I am a salt exo junkie okay junkie I am obsessed with this stuff I have so many bottles every time she comes out with something new I'm like I gotta have it I love Salt XO. This is a black owned business. I have been a Salt Bay since, like, I don't even know if Salt Bays had names when I first started buying Salt XO. I have the Yanni Gel, I have the Detox Gel, which I use on my face, and then the Shower Gel. I have not tried it yet, but it was new, so I was like, throw it in the bag. And before that, when she had just the soaps, I have a stockpile of the Yanni soaps. I don't use them as much now that I have the gel. And I just love the convenience of just like grab and go gel. It's just quicker. But I have so many of the Salt XO gels. And then I also really stand by the Citrus Bar for my skin. It's one of the only um, everyday face cleansers that I use on my skin and on my body if you know me you know I take a lot of vitamins like a ridiculous amount of vitamins so I need to make sure that I drink a lot of water one and then I'm, I'm always cleansing my skin to make sure that even you know when the excess vitamins are trying to push their way out I have nice clean skin so we're just combating any issues okay I stand by this product I think it's amazing and girl purr purr and that's all I'm gonna say it's just purr what purrs and recently I've been getting into 
um, undergarment try-ons. I have partnerships with undergarments and like loungewear companies. So I did invest in some Savage X Fenty. I got this mesh two-piece that I have been waiting forever for it to come back in stock. The customer service at Savage X Fenty is like out of this world. And when I say out of this world, I mean, I don't think I've ever experienced customer service that good from a large a corporation or a business or company that large before. It is so fast. It is always like quick to resolution. They go out of their way to help you. And I think that is just amazing for them to be such a large brand. I feel like I'm talking, I'm still talking to like a regular person. Like I know that if I call Savage XNC right now, they're going to answer and they're going to make sure that my problem is resolved. So let's get into some things that you wear. I'm going to start with this necklace that I have on, my blessed necklace. This is from Femaler. Femaler boxes mostly black owned businesses. Femaler is a black owned woman owned business and it's also my IOB fam so I always have a big spot in my heart for them when it comes to their products, their launches, and the things that they offer. I love this necklace. I wear it every day. You are allowed one religious um, necklace in your uniform so I wear this one. I think that it's just so true to me. It is a nice variation from just having a gold cross on and if you are just spiritual like I think it's beautiful to just be blessed. Like you're just blessed. And now if we go a little bit lower <laughs> this is my girl, my sis, Kate the Great's brand. This is the Black is Beautiful Tan Tee that actually just dropped this week, but you know, you girl got the exclusive. I got it a couple weeks ago. But I love this shirt so much. It says Black is Beautiful on the front, and then Be Great on the back. Can y'all see the Be Great? <laughs> and I love this shirt so much. It is one of my favorite pieces that she's ever come out with. It is very simple. She's got like firebomb pieces for HBCU students, for anybody, the Kate brand, the HBCU yearbook brands. Um, I'll attach some pictures of the yearbook stuff that just came out. You might see a familiar face. And um, I just love like her whole brand and it just like that I've been around to see it grow. It's like an added touch, black owned, female owned. I'm going to put the links to everyone's website down below. And make sure to tell her I sent you. Period. Boom. Maybe she'll buy me some juicy crap. <laughs> and next up is this bodysuit. Now, all of this stuff, I'm just going to show you guys pictures. I'm, I'm not going to try it on. This is a black bodysuit by my girl Michelle. I love stuff like this for like an airport fit um, or like a I'm running errands fit. So when, as soon as she posted this, I was like, girl, can I come pick it up? I think I got this before she put it on, up on the website as well, but I know that it's on the website now. And I will put links down below to where you can find it at. This whole bodysuit, it just fits me like a glove. And I just love it so much. It's so soft. The feel of it, it just feels very like luxury loungewear. It feels very soft and very like form fitting. It's you're giving without having to give. And we love that. Okay, we love that for us. So I'm going to tag her information down below. Like I said, everybody's information will be down below. And shout out to Michelle, Michelle Love Jones on Instagram. The next one is this on trend white dress. I haven't even worn this yet. I will soon. <laughs> I'm going to wear it because it's, it's cold now. So I need more dresses with sleeves. So I have a issue 
with wanting clothes from fast fashion brands but knowing that I don't need to shop at fast fashion brands so someone who has helped me with that a lot is Chantel Trapezoid Mouth on Instagram she has um her own like outsourcing when it comes to vendors now she doesn't make the clothes it's not originally from her it is from the same places that get that like fast fashion brands get their things from but I just like the fact that I'm supporting her business when it comes to fast fashion brands and wanting those kind of clothes it to me it's just better than like a fashion nova or a pretty little thing when it comes to wanting to support my people so all of my fast fashion clothes I always get through her store vendor store to go and last but not least I love this piece so much this is from Groovy Girl Official. I will definitely tag her down below. I keep saying that. But I always get questions like, where did you get this from? Where did you get this? And it's like, it's always in the description box, guys. I would never leave y'all hanging like that. This, now, when I say quality, when I say quality, this piece, I saw her wear this in another color weeks ago we went on a trip to not even weeks like months ago last year and there were only january but like middle of last year i saw her wear this out and i was like girl where did you get that and she's like oh i'm coming out with my own company this is my first time meeting her and i was like send me the information because as soon as it drops i'm buying it like it's consider it mine when this drops right before christmas time i was like i have to have it and i immediately went and i bought it the shipping was so fast i got it within like four days i want to say i'm going to put pictures here and then i'm also going to put the instagram somewhere up on the screen and i featured it in vlogmas when me and kate went to the black hair museum if you want to see how it moves it is such a classy, nice piece. It's the perfect length. Like the perfect length. It's not too short, but for sure not too long. The sleeves are phenomenal. Like the sleeves just make you want to do a lot of talking with your hands. And the material is just like thick. I felt so warm. And it, it's cold in Atlanta. It's cold. It's a different type of cold. Yeah, and I'm a Florida girl. That's not even my repertoire okay so I was able to wear this without a jacket and I got so many compliments on the fit so I know it's a winner and it came in two different colors I when I bought this I actually thought it was gonna be gray but I'm so happy that it was green because I never would have picked green so I'm so excited that like it helped me step out of my comfort zone but just I wanted to go back and get them in every single color and when she has her next drop I'm definitely going to be copying and that's on period. Hmm. That is my last black owned business that I'm going to be featuring today. Please come back next week. Next week hold me to it. Please come next week and I'm going to be featuring some more black owned businesses. Happy Black History Month. Happy every month should be Black History Month. Happy we shouldn't have to go to work for 30 days because it's Black History Month. And I will see y'all in the next one. Peace.